what is going on so <clears throat> I wanted to do a video about the Google pixel and my thoughts on it yeah no it happened what a couple like almost two weeks now actually I don't even know honestly time flies I usually don't know what day it is or what time it is I'll be, I'll be saying good afternoon I mean I'll be saying good morning it'll be like 2 p.m. but anyways Google Pixel was announced. I was excited. I was like, before the, the announcement, I was excited. Like, all the leaks happened, and I freaking, I kind of figured they were, they were all true, because that's what happen, happens nowadays, is that everything gets leaked. Nobody is patient anymore. Nobody is willing to wait to see, you know, the event. No one, <laughs> the hype train is all about leaks. Like, all the hype happens during the leaks, and it's always going to be somebody complaining, because that's all people know how to do nowadays, is complain. And honestly, I was kind of like that too for a little bit. I, I complained a lot, but at the same time, you know, I showed love for... I complained for a reason. I would complain. I wouldn't say complain. I would, I would criticize other companies. Like, I would criticize the Nexus 6P, the S7 Edge. I criticize things that I just, like... Things just, that just don't really make sense to me, you know? And, um... But, so, if you're similar to me, then, of course, then you've been following me for a while. And, you know, you talk to me, and we just, you know, we have fun here. So, today, talk about the Google Pixel. I do want to check it out. I definitely do want to check it out. But my uh, my thoughts are, initially, it's ugly. I'm sorry, but it is not growing on me whatsoever. Maybe if I see it in person, that might change. But neither the white or the black are doing it for me. Um, so, I definitely wouldn't get it because of its looks. It's just meh. Uh, and then... The five inches, 1080p. I mean, come on, six, seven hundred dollars almost. Well, seven hundred, right? What is six fifty? Six fifty for a 1080p display, man. I'm sorry, but even though it's five inch, I'm sure the display will be beautiful and everything. But that is a lot of money. I mean, if you're gonna put a 1080p display on that, at least you know, give it for like five fifty or five hundred or something like that. It doesn't have to be that expensive. But I get it. They're going, they're going against Apple. I'll get to that later. But um. Yeah, I think it's ugly. Um, but the good thing I like about it, I like where, where it's going. I like the ecosystem that it's trying to build with the Google AI and everything. And because the Google AI is pretty awesome, <laughs> Google's trying to take over the world, man. I'm telling you. But you have to be careful. Don't let technology, don't let technology make you or turn you into a slave. That's the one thing that I was afraid about when I heard about Google Allo. Like, man, people are going to stop having real conversations. They're going to let Google do all the talking for them. So don't let technology turn you into a slave. Don't let technology let you forget who you are. You are still a powerful being. So you're still, like, you can, you, technology has nothing over you. So don't become dependent on, dependent on it. So right now, if technology was to go away, you should be able to live your life fine. You should be able to be happy. You should be able to look inside yourself and be like, I'm awesome, I'm beautiful, I'm great, I don't need technology. You don't need anything. You have everything you need already, and we have everything we need in nature. So, my thoughts on the Google Pixel, I think it is, I think it's ugly, I think, but I like what it's trying to do. Uh, I like that Google is finally going against Apple, because it's sad to say what Google's been doing hasn't really been working, because people don't really care about cost. People don't really care about much. People... It, this is not just everybody, but me, I'm a type of person, I like to ask questions. I like to do my research. I don't just do something just to do it. Like, I want to know why I'm doing it. But a lot of people aren't like that because we're so distracted by so many things. I mean, I could go on about the things. Like, literally, some people get distracted by walls. I used to get distracted by a wall. <laughs> not even going to lie. But um, I've been working on my life to... Get rid of distractions, so I can actually know what I want, and I can actually have control over what you know what I'm doing. Like two years ago, this phone got announced. Even though I'm not feeling it, all the hype would have been making me like, man, I have to get this phone. I have to find some way to get this phone. But I got my Moto Z Four here. I'm cool. I love this phone. This phone is perfect. I do not think the Pixel will outdo the Moto Z Four. The Moto Z Four has a shatterproof display. It has the motor mods. It has a great camera. Maybe not as great as the. Pixel, that's rated at an 89, but the Moto Z Force is rated at an 87. The Moto Z Force does have a couple of things I think that will benefit it. Of course, the a higher megapixel count, 21 megapixels, that's always nice to play with. Um, Motorola gives you unlimited backups. I'm pretty sure for 4K as well. I'll double check that, but um, 
but it gives you full backups for two years so all the pictures I take with this phone are being backed up to Google Photos which is something that the Pixel is doing as well uh, but you know shadowproof display I got my pictures being backed up great build I mean I think the Moto Z Force is beautiful and the style shells and the motor mods <laughs> the big one about the motor mod is like someone was creating something that you can use when you're hiking so that way you know you can like look you can use your phone at low power and then literally the mod will turn your phone to like a walkie talkie built in GPS and probably and all that stuff so I think has a lot of potential the Google AI also has a lot of potential but if that's their main selling point I don't know man uh, I know Project Aura is gone so Google maybe is leaving the modular route for now they might just be leaving it up to you know let Lenovo take care of that because Lenovo and Motorola are the only ones that have been able to actually do modular the right way Project Aura would have taken a while t for people to actually warm up to a phone looking like that um, but in the great battery life, the phone Moto Z Force charges extremely quick. No headphone jack, but who cares? Bluetooth is the future. Bluetooth has been here for a while. Um, but yeah, this is a video about the Google Pixel. I'm just saying, I'm not. <laughs> there's nothing about it that really excites me. Great cameras, whatever. But I was never a big camera person. I mean, I was fine with my two, my 2014 Moto X camera. You know, I don't take low light pictures often. I'm not sure why many people even do. I don't even think that many people do unless you go to concerts and stuff. But that's not my thing. Me, I like to go out into nature, usually during the day. So, and when I go at night, you know, I just go and I spend most of my time actually looking, not always taking pictures. So that's one thing too that I don't, I'm not a fan of in society. We're taking so many pictures, and even Google has the stats that so many pictures get taken and they never get looked at again. So why do we make such a big deal about cameras when we barely use them? <sighs> There's just a lot of things that don't make sense. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's, it is expensive. And I know some people are gonna say it's not expensive, but the reason why it's expensive is because Google had the Nexus line for a while and you know, even the Nexus 6P and the 5X, they weren't like cheap cheap, but they were definitely cheaper than others. And they still have flagship specs, you know, the 6 p had the 810 and everything. Uh, this one has an 821, so even newer, a newer version of Android 7.1, which is cool. Um, the whole system is, like, laid out to give Google something to actually compete against, not only Apple, but the other Android manufacturers as well. And the big part is they got the marketing behind it. They're marketing this thing like crazy, which is one of the reasons why the phone is so expensive, because they plan to market this thing. Because nowadays, like I said... People are so distracted that the only way to get somebody to buy something is to hype it up. And the only way to hype it up is to have it on every screen. Have it on your phone. I've seen ads for it on Instagram already. I don't watch TV, but I'm pretty sure I would have seen an ad by now. Um, but yeah, they're marketing this thing like crazy. And that's how they're going to succeed. It's Google, man. So I definitely see that. I see them succeeding with the Google Pixel. I'm going to try to check it out at some point. I definitely want to see how the Google AI is integrated into the system, how it works, and how it improves. Um, but yeah, and with the, with the Galaxy Note 7 exploding the way that it is, and pretty much the Note 7 is gone now. You, um, production has stopped, production has halted, you can't buy it. So this is pristine time. This is a great time for Google to come out with their own phone, to advertise it like crazy, and to get it in the hands of people. Uh, so for that, I think it's good. And for Android, that's good. Uh, for me personally, eh, I don't really, I don't care too much. Um, but yeah, so what are your thoughts on the Pixel? I, I really, there's nothing about it that stands out that makes me want to like get it. Oh yeah, it has a headphone jack, big whoop. Like, they made that a big deal. And honestly, when I was watching it, there was not that many claps in the audience. I don't think too many people were, you know, all going crazy about it. But I think one of the reasons why it... It was, it was going to sell out because the marketing is crazy, but then again, at the same time, it's also a Google phone, and you have the Nexus. I'm going to call them the Nexus fanboys because they are fanboys. Sorry. It just I call it like I see it, um, but of course, they're going to get it as well. It doesn't cost is not a fact to, to those guys. They'll sell they'll sell their house to get that phone. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts on the Google Pixel are. Um, if you'd like me to check it out, would you like to see, hear my thoughts on it? I do love Google, and I want Google to succeed. Google is the shit, in my opinion, even though they're, they're trying to take over the world, you know. But that's all good. Uh, Google is the reason why I'm even recording this. You know, they created Android. 
um, they've created this great operating system and allowed a lot of different manufacturers to use it and they've been so lenient letting people like Samsung and LG mess up the software like crazy but good, I think Google and Motorola are actually in a good spot to where like they play off of each other like I think Google one of the reasons too they're able to do the pixel and stop the Nexus is they're letting Motorola take care of all the uh, phones on the low end so you got like the Moto G Moto G Play, Moto E. I'm not sure if the Moto E is coming to the US this year, but the Moto E is still there too. Very big in India. The Moto E3 Power, um, Moto G4 Plus. So Motorola, and then you can get the G4 Play for as low as $85 on like Verizon prepaid, $100 if you have Amazon Prime. So they, they got you good phones at low prices. So Motorola is taking care of the low end and they're unlocked and they work on all the carriers. So Google doesn't have to worry about that. So if someone doesn't have the money to have the brand new Google experience, they do have Motorola to take care of them on the low end. And in terms of modularity, Google kind of like left Project Aura and left it to Motorola. So I think Google and Motorola are a great team. They're a great combination. They're taking care of Android. And if they weren't, imagine if they weren't and they allowed Samsung to reign to be like the king. If they allowed Samsung to have the, all the control, this year when the Note 7 exploded and it's got everybody scared, Android would, and you know who would have taken a big hit? Android. Now that Note 7, Samsung is taking the hit, Google can be there to pick up the pieces. And so can Motorola. Maybe even HTC. HTC tried. That, HTC 10 is pretty beautiful. But that's all it is. It's just beautiful. I, otherwise, I have no... I, I don't want it at all. But, um, yeah, so let me know what your thoughts on the Pixels are. Pixel, the Google Pixel, uh, and of course the blue one. Ew! What were they thinking? It looks like a an iPod Touch. In all honesty, it looks like a toy. And if you're gonna make it blue like that, make the front blue as well. That's just common sense. And the bottom bar is just so long and blank. I wish you know you could have put like a logo there or something. Anything, honestly. But yeah, so the good things. The software looks awesome. I like how it's integrated. I love how the camera, HDR Plus, that's the biggest thing I like about the camera. HDR Plus, I love HDR Plus, but it always took longer than regular HDR. And like when I used it on the Nexus 6 and even the 6P, using HDR Plus for a while, it would slow down the phone drastically and kill your battery. So it looks like they have fixed that HDR Plus all the time, no shutter lag. You know, honestly, I think the camera is the biggest thing about this phone. And you know what that sounds like? An iPhone. But they are going after the iPhone, so best of luck to you, Google. Uh, and uh, but yeah, I'll definitely try to check it out for you guys. See you guys on the next one.